everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I'm going to start this video by saying I absolutely adore AliExpress. This haul isn't the first time that I've shopped there. I've actually been buying from AliExpress since maybe October last year. I have a very, very good strategy when it comes to buying from AliExpress. I always check the ratings and they're really, really good with their ratings on AliExpress because they really, really prompt people to leave a review. As soon as you buy something and as soon as it's received according to the tracking number, you get a little ping from the website, whether you have the app or you, maybe you get an email and it asks you, how did you like your item? And you can rate it. And the sellers seem to be really, really good. They try really hard to keep their customers happy. Often you'll pull open the parcel and there'll be a little piece of paper and it'll say something like, please don't forget to leave us a rating. If you're not happy, please contact us and we'll help you fix it. And they're really, really good like that. Like I remember once I had one item that I purchased and there was something wrong with it and I contacted them and they were like, look, we're gonna give you the money back and you can keep it. Like I didn't even ask them. I just sent them a message and I said, oh, hi, the clasp is broken on the bag. And they were like, sorry, and they sent me an immediate refund and let me keep the item. So they seem really, really good with customer service. In October last year, now this is going to sound crazy, but before I was on YouTube or anything, I spent about $2,000 on AliExpress and I bought over 100 items. I think I might have got like 100 or 150 items. It was nuts. And there's an entire story as to why I did that, but that's going to come out in a later video. The reason that I'm making today's video is because the other day I jumped on, I bought just a couple of things. I wasn't going to use them in a haul, I just bought them because I really wanted them. But then when I looked at the pile in front of me, I was like, why not make a video? This stuff is so nice, I may as well make a video. Now, like I said, just remember, before you buy on AliExpress, check the ratings. I don't buy things unless they have four or five stars and unless they've been purchased before. With that, let's jump into what I got this time. Now, there's only a few things that I bought this time but I've added some of the stuff from my last haul as well. So, for example, this top that I'm wearing. I bought this last year and I've been wearing it very, very frequently. This is so warm. It's a beautiful, beautiful top. It's made of this really nice soft knitted material. It's got these cute little clouds embroidered and the clouds are really soft like felt. It's such a nice top. I love it. Every time I wear it anywhere, people compliment me. It wasn't very expensive. I think from memory it may have been like $17, but what I'm gonna do I'll put the prices up here so you can double check and you'll also be able to see the uh, expectation image and compare it to what I'm wearing. So this one, that's, that's the uh, intro to the video. I bought this ages ago. I've washed it many times. It's maintained its shape. It's maintained its color. It's a beautiful top. It fits me really, really well. So the next thing that I'm going to dive into is insane. Insane. Now this was a little bit expensive, not gonna lie, but when it comes to things that look like this, I don't mind spending a little bit more money. You'll, you'll see why in a second. Alrighty, here it is. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that like literally one of the prettiest windbreakers you have ever, ever seen? I, I love it. It feels amazing. I am always, I've never once received an item from AliExpress that I don't like. Not once, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling you the cold hard facts. This stuff is good if you get stuff that you've checked the reviews for. Because, I mean, I have seen some people buy stuff that didn't have any reviews and it turned up and they were like, what the hell is this? If you check the reviews, you know you're gonna get something good. And this is beautiful. Now, this was a little bit expensive, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's worth it. So I can see there's some sort of Velcro here and I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, 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 okay. So it's got a little hood. It's got a purple hood like this. So it looks like you can probably tuck the hood up and tuck it into the Velcro, I think. See, there's a bit of Velcro just here. You can tuck the hood, sort of roll it up and it'll become part of the collar. So you can tuck the hood away and it just kind of come, becomes part of the collar like that. It's got this beautiful baby pink zipper, which works perfectly. It's got some drawstrings there as well if you want to tighten it up around your neck if you're cold. It's got a double layer too. So you can see on the inside, it's got this kind of like thin pink layer like this. And it's also got the exterior layer. And I think that this might be waterproof. It's not Archie proof though. Okay, here it is. It has pockets. It has some little adjustable drawstrings down here. It's uh, got no green on it, but it is blue, purple, yellow, and pink, which is such a nice color combination. I literally feel like I am, oh, Archie, no, 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 no,
feel like there isn't a hell of a lot that I can say about this because it is just so nice. It's just so good. I don't know. I don't know. What more do you want me to say? Like, it's... It's uh, waterproof. It's very, very soft. I didn't have to size up. This was... I think this was a size small and it fits me perfectly. I really like the length of it. It does... It's not too long. It's not too short. Pockets. Mm, it's just... What... <laughs> What more do you want me to say? It's literally perfect. So this one is five stars. Oh, I forgot to show you the hood. Hang on. Ah. The hood fits really well too. I was a little bit concerned maybe the hood could have been a bit too small, but it fits perfectly. So how cute is this? I feel like any time of the year you could wear this because it, it doesn't really provide warmth, but it's more for wind resistance. I just, it's so good. It's literally, you would never think in a thousand years, if, if I was walking through the street and someone saw me and they were like, that is so cute, where'd you get that? They would never think it was from AliExpress ever. So, five stars. The next jacket that I'm gonna show you is one that I have seen everywhere. This was trending for quite a while. It's this insane iridescent, kind of like, I don't know, what would you call this? Almost like a rugby zip up jacket style, kind of bomber jacket, I don't know. I haven't really worn this very much because it's a tiny little bit itchy in just the spots where the seams are. I don't know why, I'm not really sure. It's probably because this material, it's kind of like plasticky and I think there's some little bit of uh, frayed edges around here so it can get a little bit itchy. I've seen people wear it with like a tank top and just this over the top but I find you kind of need something long underneath it to stop it from being a little bit irritating. Style wise, it's super cool. It wasn't very expensive either. Like I remember at the time when I bought this, I had seen a lot of people talking about stores where they bought it and people were buying it from like San Rance and Coco Pie and all these different, you know, kawaii shops but they were always more expensive than it was on AliExpress, but it's exactly the same thing. Like, a lot of those stores purchase this from AliExpress as a wholesaler, and then they add a little bit of price onto it, and then they sell it themselves. So you can just go straight to AliExpress and get it. What I don't know is if it's a copy of some other design. I've never actually been able to find an original place that this came from. It does seem as though it just... <sighs> Stop speaking over me. I've seen it on Wish, but it does come from exactly the same place as the AliExpress ah. warehouse. I mean, it's it's very, very extra. People always see it hanging up in the background of my videos and they're like, that's amazing, where did you get it? It's from AliExpress, you'd never think so, but it is. You like it? Wanna go inside? Okay, so the next thing that I have that's a little bit similar to this, this is this acid sugar top, which has exactly the same sleeves as what this has, but this is quite thin material. It's not very thick, but it's very soft. So it might be thin, but it's very, very soft. I've washed this twice and the decal is totally fine. Uh, the first time I ever wore it, Archie pooed on it. And as we like to say around here, if he poos on it, he likes it. So this one was approved by Archie. The fit, well, it's very, very cropped, and it's supposed to be cropped, so you can let it get away with that. Hang on, I'll just show you what it looks like. Hang on, fit. I've seen people wear this with a pink skirt, and it looks really, really cute, the pink on pink. Seems like a really, really popular design. I don't know if this acid sugar thing is ripped off from somewhere. I'm not sure if it's some brand's catchphrase or something that an artist has done. I, I haven't been able to work it out, but if you do know, if it's come from somewhere, please let me know. Again, this one wasn't too expensive. It's super cute. Everyone always says to me, where is that from? I love it. AliExpress. AliExpress. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? I think Archie, re Archie loves all of this stuff. I know none of it's green, but I think he, I think he doesn't like it because it looks so good, right? Is that right? This is one of the softest sweaters I have ever worn. I, I just, uh, I have made so many people buy this. So many of my friends have come over and they've seen it and been like, wow, I love it, where'd you get it? I show them, they buy it. Like, people love this. It's so soft. I can't even begin to explain to you how soft this is. And the colors are perfect, right? Perfect. Love it. All right, here it is. It has this really, really cute little pocket on it. But what I can't stop raving about is the quality of the fabric. It is so soft, you would freak out if you could touch this. Yeah, see, he's freaking out. He's, he's freaking out. Look, it's got a, a kind of green sleeve, Archie. Are you impressed? 
I've worn this many, many times. Again, I've washed it a few times too. It hasn't pilled up at all. It has a little loose thread on the arm there, but a lot of the clothes that I buy from reputable places have loose threads here and there as well, so I can kind of excuse that. I feel like the only thing that I don't like about this for me Wearing it without tucking it into something, I don't think it's got a very flattering fit. This was a small, and it fits me well, but I kind of think because it just kind of hangs like that, it doesn't really flatter me, so I like to wear this tucked into a skirt or tucked into jeans with a belt. I think it looks much better like that. But it's just one of the softest things I've ever worn, and every time pe people will say hi to me and they'll like tap me on the shoulder and be like, oh hey, ooh, it's so soft. <laughs> So that's what you'll get with this type of shirt. So I love this one. Again, this was, I rated this five out of five stars on, on AliExpress, so I love it. Now let's try something new. I've, I've been showing you things that I've already owned, but this is something new. I feel like the colors on the website kind of looks a little bit different to what they look now that I'm actually seeing this. Okay, this is so soft. This is a turtleneck. It's a two-tone turtleneck. Anyone remember my Barbie misguided top? This looks just like that. So it's kind of like a ribbed shirt. It is so soft. Ugh, I love it. It looks a little bit short, but I do feel like it'll be really, really stretchy. So I think that should be okay. Which way's the front and which way's the back? That's what I want to know. Okay, well, there's no tag inside. There's, there's no, hang on, is there a tag anywhere? Oh yes, there's, there's a tag here. Someone once said to me in the comments on one of my other videos, they were like, you can tell which way is the front because the tag on the inside should be on the left. I don't know how correct that is. I don't know how accurate that is. Let's give it a go. Okay, well, I can't quite tell if it's on the right way, but I think both the front and the back look pretty much the same. Now, I don't know how I feel about this actually looking at it. I think it looks kind of cool on camera, but looking at myself in the mirror, I'm not so fond of it. I kind of feel like it's almost a little bit too extreme with the two-tone. But in the pictures, the model looked so cool, but I think that she had like a beanie or something on, and I guess if you kind of dressed this up right, it would look really, really good. I love cropped turtlenecks. I just, oh, I, I love them so much. And recently, I haven't posted the video yet. I, I filmed it last week, but when all of these parcels arrived, I decided I was gonna post this one first. Next week, you guys will see an ASOS haul, and I bought a white turtleneck like this, and it was $35, and it was literally the same. Like, exactly the same, no difference. No di Quality-wise, no difference. So this was considerably cheap compared to what I paid for a plain white turtleneck from ASOS. So value-wise, have nothing to complain about. I just don't know if I'm such a fan of this style. Like, everything so far has been super, super kawaii. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh yeah, it's cool but it's not quite right for my style. But tell me what you guys think. While I have this on, I'm gonna show you one of my all time favorite purchases. I've been wearing this since October last year. This is another amazing pastel bomber. This is just, ugh. Every time I wear this in public, I get stopped and people ask me where it's from. It's so retro, it's so like nostalgic. Archie, please stop chewing on my nails. I just got my nails done and Archie loves shiny things and my nails are super, super shiny and he won't stop chewing on them. You need to stop. You need to stop. They're not almonds, not shiny almonds, sorry. This was really, really reasonably priced as well. I remember at the time when I saw the price on AliExpress, I was like, man, if that turns up and it's crap, I'm gonna be so angry. But it turned up and I was like, huh, everything went better than expected. Like, it's amazing, it feels so nice. Like I said, I've worn this all over the place. I wore this in Japan and it was so cold and this really, really kept the wind out. Like it actually worked and it's waterproof too. So Dan and I were walking around on the rabbit island in Japan and it was raining on us and I didn't feel a thing. Didn't soak through. I was like hiding. I was hiding my camera under it while it was raining and my camera stayed completely bone dry because it didn't get wet through the jacket. So I love it. I love the way that it looks. It came in a few different styles, like it came in different colors. It looks amazing with like a tennis skirt. It looks so good. I kind of feel like I'm almost ruining it with this turtleneck on underneath. So what I'm gonna do is change it to something else and then we will revisit this. We'll revisit this later when I'm wearing something different underneath so you can really appreciate how nice it is. But yeah, it comes in a couple of different color combinations. So I love this one. Okay, this next one has appeared in a video of mine before and I got so many comments about it. People just spammed me non-stop. Where did you get that? It's perfect, it's amazing, I love it. Where's it from, where's it from, where's it from? 
Now, aside from the fact that I do kind of feel like you could DIY this very, very easily just by poking some holes in any woolen jumper and putting some ribbon through it, aside from that, I do love this top, but it was the only thing out of the entire $2,000 haul that I made last year, this was the only thing that didn't look like the photo. Now, I'll pull the photo up here so you can see. I thought it was going to be really long. Like, I thought that it would probably come down to here, like a sweater dress, but as you can see, it's quite small. So maybe if you wanted that really, really oversized kind of look, size up, I did get a small. That's probably why it's small. I mean, I have no one to blame but myself, but I do love it in terms of, I just, you can wear it off the shoulder. I've worn this off the shoulder, tucked into a skirt, and people go nuts for it. They ask me, again, this is one of those things, people are like, oh, where'd you get that? And it's just so simple. I don't think it was too expensive from memory, and I've got a lot of use out of it, a lot of wear out of it, washed it a few times, nothing has fallen apart. So, look, look, look at this. Which accessory is better, the bow or the bird? Okay, let's have a look at something that's new now. So this is a dress. I actually found this because I was searching for a different style of purple dress. And then when I searched purple dress, this is what came up. It's got adjustable straps. I feel like this is going to be very, very, very short. So I'm gonna leave the leggings that I'm wearing on underneath this dress when I try it on. But I, I do feel like you'll be able to see my bum. But I had to get this in a small. So I kind of feel like for these sort of things, perhaps if you really like the design and you've never seen it anywhere else, you could always upsize it and then maybe if you're crafty, you might be able to tailor it to bring it in because you're not going to be able to make up the length, but you can always like cinch it in. Does that make sense? So let's try this on and see, but just by looking at it, this feels really nice. Like this feels like a really good, it kind of, to me, it feels like something you'd get from Forever 21. Like that's exactly what it feels like. Okay, here it is. Now this has a zipper on the side to help you get into it. I was able to just pull it over my head because I have like quite a small chest, but I feel like if you had more uh, boobage going on, you might have to use that zip to help you into it, but it, it fit okay. So lengthwise, it's not as horrifically short as I thought it was going to be. It's actually like, it's actually fine. I, I think I can probably take these. I think I can take these leggings off. So just give me one sec. So that's the length of it. It's not showing my bum. It's actually stopped quite quite far down from my bum. So I'm really, really happy. This has two layers inside. So, oh, yeah, and both layers have the pattern. So they've just done that so it's not quite as, it's not transparent. The fabric itself isn't thin fabric. Like if it was only one layer of fabric, you still wouldn't be able to see through it. Okay, come here. Yeah, it does give you that little bit of extra sort of comfort on the inside knowing that no one's gonna be able to see your undies, even if they have a pattern on them. I love these daisies, Oh, I think this is so cute. It's even got like an extra layer again around where your boobs are. So you could go braless if you wanted to and you wouldn't really notice your nipples as much. So this is, just, this is great all around. This is so cute, I can't believe this. I was really skeptical when I saw the picture and also I was skeptical because from memory, this one didn't have very many ratings. You know how at the start I said I always get stuff that has a lot of ratings and a lot of reviews? This one didn't. But it was cheap enough that I was like, look, if it's terrible, it'll be funny. But it turned out everything went better than expected. Really happy with this. Ah, oh, you guys will see this on my Instagram a lot, I, I bet. As soon as the weather starts to warm up here in Sydney, I'm gonna wear this all the time. Like, pop on a sun hat, go stand in a field of daisies. Come see the strawberries. Okay, so this next item, this is a t-shirt with strawberries on it. This is just like quite thin material, but it's made nicely. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap. It just feels like thin t-shirt material. You need to stop chewing, please, please stop chewing. This is another one that I've washed a couple of times. It hasn't faded, it hasn't changed in any way at all. The shape hasn't changed. It's totally fine, looks pristine. Every time I wear this t-shirt out, again, people say to me, where's that from? It's so cute. I've actually got a matching skirt. Now this skirt, it's not meant to match with this top. It's just like, it just so happens to be the same strawberries. This skirt does feel quite cheap. This is one of the only things from my entire $2,000 haul. You'll see the rest of those items in another video, but this is one of the only things that didn't feel quite so good. It's got two layers. It, like it's got the layer with the strawberries and it's got a layer underneath, but I don't know, the material just kind of feels a little bit canvassy. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's very stiff material. And I don't really like the way that it looks on. I'm not gonna take my 
pants off for this one, but I'll just show you. You know, just we'll just go nuts with the strawberries right now. But do you see how it kind of sits? Don't really like how the skirt sits. Like I think it's a little bit awkward because of how stiff the material is. It doesn't sit in such a flattering way. So I've never worn this skirt, but I've been holding on to it because I kind of feel like I could work with it. Like I think I could make it work if I try and I style it well, but just as you can see it right here, like it just doesn't look it doesn't look particularly flattering. But the t-shirt, the t-shirt's great. So while I have this t-shirt on, I'm gonna show you this. Now I am beyond excited about this. Beyond, you can't comprehend how excited I am about this. This was expensive, I think it was like $50, which I think is a lot, but at the same time, it's amazing. This is the first time I'm trying it. Now this is exactly the same as that windbreaker that I showed you before, but this is a puffer jacket. So this seems like it's gonna be really, really warm. I think it's got the same thing going on here with the hood. Yeah, it does. So it's got that same thing with the, vel with the Velcro there that the other one had. So you can tuck the hood up if you want to. Time to evolve into a pastel Michelin man. Hey! You, you stop, you let go of that. Oh, you, you show our friends what you've stolen. Look, he's stolen mummy's car keys because there's a cat on them. Hates cats. You need to let go. How cute is this? Is this? I've had this on for two seconds and I'm feeling hot. Like, oh, I feel like I need to put on the air conditioning. This is warm. I don't know what's inside this. I don't know if it's ducked down or what. I have no idea. But it's very, 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 very warm. If you're in a country where it's going into winter, I feel like you'll get some really good use out of this. I got one of these style jackets on Boohoo, but it was nowhere near as cute as this. So for me, as someone that absolutely adores pastel colors, I go nuts for them. And I do think that pastel colors are a little bit hard to find sometimes. So I feel like this, I can justify the $50 because I'm like, I've never seen anything like that anywhere else and I really want it. So I'll pay that much money. And the quality, totally worth it. Like let's say you've got $50 and you're, you've been wanting to get a really, really nice jacket leading into winter. I know I do that sometimes. Like every year I like to get myself a nice jacket that I can wear in winter. And I've sometimes paid like $200 for a really nice warm jacket. This is the sort of thing I'd be like, look, it's coming into winter. I'm gonna wear this all the time. It brings the cost per wear down. This is $50, but if I wear it every single day in winter, let's say I wear it 50 times, it's a dollar per wear. But if it was the sort of thing, if it was really crappy quality and you pay $50 and you use it once and then the zipper breaks, well then you pay $50 to wear it once. So your cost per wear is pretty terrible. But I can promise you guys like feeling this, this is so nicely made, it's so good. So five stars, <laughs> love it. I'm nervous about this next thing. This is a bodysuit. I have quite a long torso and I always find that bodysuits just turn into camel toe machines, so. I'm a little bit nervous. I did size up in this one. I got this in a medium because I was scared that it would be too short. So let's see. This is very simple. It is literally just a, a velvet like bodysuit like that, like a boob tube. It's got pure written on it. I love the color. I have seen this for sale on a couple of different sides and I have no way of knowing if this is like, was this someone's original design? This thing with pure written on it? I have no way of knowing. I don't know if the Chinese seller that created this if they're the ones that started the idea and then a whole bunch of the other kawaii stores started selling it and buying it off them i'm not sure if you know the answer please let me know the only thing that i can foresee being a problem now because this is a boob tube i always like boob tubes to have kind of like a silicony kind of sticky bit uh, often you'll see they'll just have like something along here that helps it to stop sliding down but this is just fabric it does have elastic at the back so that should help, but I'm a little bit worried about the front sliding down. So I'll put this on and I'm gonna put this on with a skirt. Now this is a skirt that I got again in my original AliExpress haul. And you'll see all of these things when I post that video one day. There's just so many items and some of them are in the wash and some of them my friends have borrowed. I'm gonna try and gather all of those 100 items and do a video. I love this and I think it is one of the cutest skirts ever but you need to size up because it's got shorts built into it and the shorts kind of tug if your torso is long. So unless I cut the shorts out, I can't really wear this. So this one I would recommend sizing up. All right guys, don't freak out about how short the skirt is. I know it is way too short. So definitely size up in this, but 
What I did do, I did size up in this bodysuit and it fits me perfectly. It's not too short in the torso, it fits really, really well. Like I said, this part is slipping down because it doesn't have that kind of like something sticky along here. So I guess you'd have to get like Hollywood tape or something like that. Like, I, it's sitting okay, just kind of like clinging onto my bra, but could be a little bit better. The velvet is so soft, I love it, it's so nice. And I feel like it's very, very flattering. Like the color is really, really cute. I think that because it's not too tight around here, it's not digging into my underarms. Like, you know, sometimes I end up with four boobs because there's two here and then there's two here. But it's not doing that, luckily. It's just sitting really, really comfortably. So, yeah. I think this is so cute, but with the skirt, as you can see, it's kind of like, it's doing this weird, because of the shorts on the inside, it's like really tugging. So size up in the skirt, but how cool is that? Like, it's so aesthetic. And like I said, because this is a tennis skirt, let me show you that other windbreaker with it. Now that I don't have that turtleneck on, I can show you this. Do, do I need to say anything? Do, I don't think so. I, I think it speaks for itself. How good does that look? I love this. Oh. <laughs> I just love it so much. So I'll just run over the accessories really, really quickly while I'm wearing this because this is this is so cute. Actually, no. Oh, hmm. no, just don't don't look at my bum in the mirror, guys. No, I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna change so you don't see my bum, and then I'll show you the accessories. Okay, I've just changed back into this because this is so cute and I'm, it's way too cold outside to wear it, but I just want an excuse to wear it so. I'm really nervous about this. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. Damn, this is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. In the pictures, it looked way, way bigger than what it... <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so, uh, that's so annoying. Look how small this is. I, I guess I thought it was going to be really big. Like I thought it would be like a, like a Jeffree Star mirror, like huge, but that's, that's, that's tiny, that's tiny. But it's very heavy, like, like very, very solid and very heavy and it feels very, very well made. So I guess this is more of a handbag mirror than anything. That's probably why it comes with a pouch so you can keep it safe in your handbag, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. But uh, I'll give you a close up. I just don't know how I feel about this because in the image it did look a lot bigger, but to be fair, I didn't actually look and see the measurements. They were probably on the sides. I just looked at the picture and I was like, yeah, that looks like a hand mirror and I thought it was big. But it's so small that I can only see one eye when I hold it up. That's all I can see in it. So that's really unfortunate, but it is really beautiful. Like, I feel like this will photograph really nicely and it's very nicely made. This next thing, I'm yet to open this and I'm really, really nervous because this was expensive. Very, very expensive. And I was sort of going out on a limb purchasing this but hang on, this looks legit. This, this looks legit, guys. Oh my God. Look, it says Hello Kitty on the box. That's always a good sign. It's got Hello Kitty there. It's got Hello Kitty on the back under these stickers. I have, in the past, I have purchased actual authentic Sanrio products from websites like Wish and AliExpress. They do sell them. Now that's not to say that all Hello Kitty or Sanrio products you see on AliExpress are real. That's, that's not to say that. But I have read online before that sometimes if companies can't shift the excess stock, apparently they'll sell it on websites like AliExpress. Now I don't know how true that is, but I have purchased real Sanrio products. Oh, I think this is real. I, I am, this is real, this has to be real. Oh my God, this has to be real. There's no way this is fake. Look. There's a gift bag that's got Hello Kitty on it. That is so pretty. And then there's a little tiny booklet. Oh my God, it is real. It's real. Look, it's literally got the holographic sticker with a QR code. That, you can't fake that. You cannot fake. This is real. It's a Sanrio license. Licensed by Sanrio 2017. Hello Kitty China. This is, this is a real Hello Kitty Sanrio product that has come from AliExpress. What is in here? <gasps> What is this? What? Wow! What is this? What are you? Oh my god, is this... There's a QR code. <gasps> it's a mirror! What? There's, there's like a 
piece of plastic here covering this mirror and it's got a little kind of, it almost feels like leather, I don't think it is, but it's got Hello Kitty embossed into it and it's like a little pocket mirror with cherry blossoms. Oh my god, I'm dead. This is insane. This is real. This, is, this isn't a copy, this is real. Look, it's in a metal tin. There you go, there's another holographic Sanrio sticker on the back. Hello Kitty Handle Makeup Mirror. Oh my god, okay, there's a bit of foam. Oh, that's a big bit of foam. What the heck? There's a little Hello Kitty piece of cardboard with Sanrio license written on it. Gel. There's a bag. Oh my god! Okay, it's, it's way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. This is so solid, this is so heavy. Wow. <gasps> Look at this! That is literally, this weighs like a kilo. Oh, I can see, it's damaged. Maybe that's how it ended up on AliExpress. Maybe, maybe it was actually owned by someone and they've just sold it because it was damaged. It didn't say on AliExpress it was damaged, but there's a little bit of damage here. I'll give you a close up. But this is so hefty, it's quite wide. I can see both of my eyes, so that's good. This is so cute, it's metal. It's really, really heavy. Oh my God, I'm dead. I don't believe that. That is like, no wonder it was so expensive. Now this, I know there's gonna be people in the comment section that are gonna say things like, mm, they can fake things that say Sanrio license. They can't fake the holographic sticker. Like I have other real licensed Sanrio products that have exactly, it's, it's real, like it's authentic. I, I guarantee you, I put a hundred bucks on it. <laughs> it's, it's real. That's amazing. I can't believe it. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. My only complaint is, it is literally so heavy. Like this top part is so heavy that this little tiny handle isn't substantial enough. Like it's so heavy that I feel like you need a longer handle to compensate for how heavy it is. That's my only issue with it. But aside from that, this is one of my favorite purchases ever. This is so cute. This has a little bit of a story to it. There's a store called San Rens. And a lot of people have told me I should do a haul from there. Now, a couple of months ago, they actually reached out to me. They sent me an email and they were like, hi, we'd like you to make a YouTube video about our clothes. And I was like, oh, awesome. Because so many people had been asking me and I kind of feel like that's maybe why they emailed me because on so many of my videos, people ask me to review them. Anyway, they were like, please pick some clothes that you want. We'll send them to you for free and you can make a video. So I picked out the clothes that I wanted. I sent them the list. And they came back to me and they said no to all of them. They said, please choose different items because the items that you've chosen don't look like the pictures. I was like, excuse me, excuse, what? Hang on, you can't just sell things that don't look like the pictures. I got so angry. I was like, you said, never. I have a lot of brands asking me to make videos for them and I pick the ones that I like and the brands that I have worked with that have given me stuff for free, never once has anyone said to me, no, you can't have the items you've chosen, we don't approve, pick something else. Like they've always just let me review the items that I want to review. But they were like, please choose different items. They don't look like the pictures. I got really, really mad. So anyway, what I did, I went undercover, I used a different email address and I bought just one thing. I didn't want to give them too much money, but I bought one thing and well, they were right. It doesn't look like the pictures, but they did sell this on AliExpress for a while. So that's why I've, I've included this in this haul because I had seen this many times on AliExpress and it was on my wish list, but I never actually bought it. But here it is, it's a little purple dress. I'll put this on and then we'll, we'll continue talking. Hang on. Okay, so here it is. Now I did size up in this, but it's still extremely small. It is so small that the straps, it's literally painful. Like, uh, my, my arms don't really fit into the straps without causing extreme pain. Like it's really, really tight, it hurts. The material isn't great and it does look different to the picture, just like they said. Like in the picture, it didn't have daisies on it for a start but it also looked a lot softer. And I'm not certain, but I kind of think that maybe the original, was it from Doll's Kill or something? I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I've seen this somewhere many years ago from, from an actual like name brand. So what I, I remember seeing this on AliExpress and thinking it reminded me of something else. I thought it was a bit expensive, so I never bought it. And then I saw it on Sam Rents and I bought it then and it, they were right. It doesn't look anything like the pictures. It is still cute, like, it's a cute dress, but it just, it does feel like a cheap copy of something else. So, uh, so that's everything. That is everything for this super kawaii 
AliExpress haul. Now, like I said, I did spend $2,000 on the site and I've only shown you like a fraction of the things that I have bought because I wouldn't be able to fit it all in one video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know that you want me to make the, the rest of the videos. I'd really like to make a video teaching you guys how to shop on AliExpress because a lot of people are scared of it and they think that the stuff is going to be crap, but all of this stuff is amazing. Like, so, so nice. And that's because I know how to use the site. So I would love to make a video like that. If you're interested in like an AliExpress 101 video, please let me know. And uh, okay, yeah, Archie wants one. So with that, that's everything for this haul. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Maybe you've been uh, lurking on the channel for a while, you've been watching, but you've never subscribed. Hey, look, there's, there's a cute green bird here. What's not, what is not to love? So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.